All right, everyone, welcome to this, the first social dream language update weather report for this July 24th, 2015. We are looking, of course, at the social dream language monitoring board, which gives us some long-term trend-breaking tr uh, terms that are appearing in social dream language right now. Over here are things that are popping up just within the last day. And then as you get further over, it's more significant, longer term trends, longer term changes, which are more significant that we're seeing. And that's why I focus mostly on what's going on over here. But then again, things pop up really quickly. And when there's when there's a big spike, even the one that will eventually appear over here, you do indeed see it over here first. So you got to keep your eye on what's going on here, too. But for today, let's go ahead and focus in on what's going on here. The three that I want to take a look at are Trump, <laughs> which has been leading the board for the last nearly week. It's fallen a little bit today relative to these newcomers. But it's still holding strong at 260% in the week two week over two week periods. Um, Charlie is still trending up. And I want to come back to that one. That's not immediately obvious, but I'll explain why I'm mentioning it same thing with twin and uh and then one that i had to look up also was minions was a newcomer that set off some alarms and i'll show you the, the graphs for these here in a second so let's start off with trump who is just off the charts right now this is something that has been you know minimally encountered in the past people dream of him i guess from time to time because he's rich and is on the cover of books and asked Obama for his birth certificate. So they've seen his face, they've heard his name in the news, and from time to time people, you know, there it is, they reach for something in their dreams and Donald Trump comes up. But uh, recently we actually started to see some rising vibes of a Trump frenzy. And indeed, a Trump frenzy we have encountered. Let's flip over really quickly to look at the news map, which of course gives us a look at what's going on in different kinds of headlines around the world. These are the U.S. headlines from all sections of Google News, and we see that the most clicked, most popular piece of news, even in the wake of a, I mean, it's been less than 24 hours since Lafayette, but even, even given that distraction right now, everyone is clicking and reading about Trump. It's inescapable. And for that reason, he is appearing in people's dreams. It's off the charts compared to normal, I mean, there's no normal Trump volume, but it's just ridiculous. You know, people are wondering, is anyone else coming in? Donald Trump to their dreams. Yes, the one that lots of people <laughs> are dating Donald Trump or riding his uh, hairpiece <laughs> over Persia. So you're not alone. And it's crazy. It's, uh, it's off the charts. But it's to be expected when you see the controlled Western establishment media pushing anybody, any term, any uh, archetype or symbol. In this case, it's Donald Trump into people's minds day in and day out and he appears at night people dream about him that's what's going on right now the other one i mentioned i wanted to take a look at was minions which set off alarms for the same reason as donald as uh, as trump because there's so little volume most of the time really negligible volume and then all of a sudden it goes off the charts what's going on right now is, of course, that there was a, I mean, I had to look it up, I had no idea, but there's apparently a movie called Minions, which is a 3D summer spectacular presented by Illumination Nation, or that's the name of the event, I guess, it's by Illumination Entertainment, an unsurprising name for a Hollywood company controlled by the Luciferian cryptocracy, the bringers of light, they are surely controlling you can see the cryptocracy is firmly in control have no doubt of of our collective psyche right now and donald trump and the minions they're all seeing eye <laughs> up here they are firmly in control of the collective unconscious and they're just doing with it whatever they want the minions for those of you like me who had no idea are these little creatures that uh, need a boss so they serve evil and they need a boss. And in the movie, they apparently steal the crown from the Queen of England, which is sort of ironic since the crown is stolen. And don't worry, she gets it back. The other thing I wanted to mention was that, as I said, Charlie was, was trending. Charlie and Twin. 
which are sort of, sort of um, uninteresting by themselves. But I had I keep close tabs on uh, Lauren Coleman over at the Copycat Effect. He's got a great bo- uh, blog dealing with synchronistic stuff, and uh, he had a great piece on Charles, the name Charles, and uh, after Charleston, and we saw Charles everywhere. And the other thing that was coming along in this uh, wave of Charles was uh, Fayette. And um, I, you know, this post was made well before the uh, shooting in Lafayette last night. So I was a little speechless when I realized that. Um, Just in general, to to sort of take a look at the dream weather, we are seeing that evil is sort of rising. You know, I I don't have anything to say about this i don't know what it means i don't know that it means anything but it definitely (laughs) over the last year you know we're looking at this was 11 now we're at 30 30 to 40 so we're we're literally people are dreaming three to four times more frequently of evil than they were last year um so given that as a backdrop let's look at one other thing i wanted to, to point out which is that generally when you look for a, a, a the name of a month or an event like Thanksgiving or Christmas, it's very pronounced, right? That that there's a spike going into the event. So, right, you can see this one was 3:30, uh, leading into April. People dream about April. This is especially true of April because of April Fools. But if we looked for, you know, May, we would see this as well. And um, and the reason that I point this out right now come back to that, is because September is really trending up. And we're not we're not even in August yet. So this is something that I wouldn't expect to see based on... Okay. May's a little crazy. Oh, well, May is... Okay, May is an English word, so that's a terrible example. <laughs> At any rate, that's all I wanted to point out, was that September is noisy and trending up, and people are making a lot of waves about, you know, the September event, which may or may not you know, be worth discussing. It's out of scope of this video. Um, at any rate, that's all I wanted to point out. I'll include a link to Lauren Coleman's excellent blog down below and to the Dream Ward and the news maps. And uh, thanks for watching. This has been the first social dream language weather update. And feel free to check out the blog at hackdeeper.org. And I'll post more soon. Have a good one.